Hello world, welcome back to Subarray 23's Mixed Reality. Uh, this is tutorial number two. This is uh, our in-game console, or debug console. I guess it could be either or, uh, or both. I just wanted to go over quickly some of the assets we'll be using for this project. Um, definitely the HoloLens Toolkit Unity. Um, I'll probably use that in every single project because it just makes prototyping so easy. Um, they've done a really good job with it. As far as Unity assets go, we're going to deal with empty game objects, uh, event systems, you, the overall UI system to some degree, canvases, panels, uh, images, and uh, text. Um, that's pretty much everything that this will cover. Uh, maybe a few things here and there extra. The Unity UI system um, is a great upgrade from their old on GUI system. Um, required components are going to be your canvas and your inventory system or your event system. Excuse me. Um, the canvas holds all your UI elements um, and the event system is your interface to interact with the, the UI elements. Um, these will be created automatically when you create any element that is from the UI or any component from the UI. So you click a, uh, create a button, it's going to create these automatically. The button will be a child of the canvas. Um, makes it a little bit simpler. But in terms of Unity game objects, I say learn everything you can about them. They're, every single thing that you touch inside Unity is a game object. So on a base level, everything you're manipulating is game objects. Um, important components to learn about game objects is a transform. That's its position, rotation, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, mesh filter, uh, that's going to be the actual mesh data um, and renderer. Uh, these things you will use over and over and over again when you're doing Unity programming. So spend the extra time up front. And here we go. We got a fresh project here. It's console window AR. Uh, I think I've got it. Uh, cut so y'all can't see the top of the window there but that's what it's called um, first thing we're gonna do delete the main camera it's gone and I y'all probably can't see this but right now I am I've got a side window open and I am dragging a collection of scripts and a few other things these are all things from the either the unity hollow uh, Holland's uh, unity toolkit HoloLens Toolkit Unity, excuse me, or uh, Standard Assets. Uh, that's where the fonts came from. Uh, you see here I got a collection of prefabs and scripts. So we're going to create, yeah. for some reason my software is not capturing um, menu systems. So this is just going to look like it's magically appearing, but I'm actually clicking on a whole bunch of things to make it happen. Uh, scenes. If anyone knows a fix to that, let me know. I use OBS. Um, now we're going to create another folder. We're going to call it scripts. Next, we are going to create a folder. And we're going to call that one prefabs. It's really nice to keep all your files organized. It helps you understand what's going on. So we're going to put all of our scripts in the scripts folder. We're going to put our FPS, our, our prefabs in the prefab folder. And it looks like one of those prefabs is linking up to its monoscript, right? So that's going to be that FPS display. And then we are going to drag our main camera prefab into the window. And now we've got our camera uh, set in our position 000 where we like it. Backgrounds black that way that way it is uh, transparent. Uh, we're not in VR. We're AR here, and then we're gonna save the scene. I'm gonna save that scene as main. All right, and yeah, there we got some fonts here, prefab scenes, scripts. All right, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Uh, first, we need to create an empty. So create, and I don't know if y'all can see these, I doubt y'all can. Create empty, 
Uh, we're going to name it console. Hit enter. That makes sure the uh, name change is confirmed. Uh, next, we're going to create, go to right click, go to UI, and then down to canvas. This is also going to create our event system. Um, and we're going to name this console canvas. Now, some of the first things we need to change in here is we need to scroll down to canvas, the component canvas, and uh, under render mode, change that to world space. We're going to drag our camera from here under event camera. Uh, dynamic pixels per, I'm going to put 30. And these are just numbers that I've come up with. Uh, we want to set our position to zero, zero, zero. And our width is going to be 750. Our height will be 900. Now that's huge at the moment. Um, and we're going to leave it huge for now. Oh, we are going to push the position out to three for now. Um, but once we get a little bit deeper into this and get everything linked the way it's supposed to be, we need to change the scale here. And it's going to be a dramatic change in scale, but we'll get to that in a bit. All right. So next up, we've got a panel. So we're going to create UI panel and panel. While canvas holds everything together, panel gives it a look. Um, I don't like that default color. I'm going to go with a light bluish. Yeah, not too light because you still need to see the text. Uh, there we go. That color doesn't really matter. It's just preference. But um, And then under with panel selected, we're going to create UI text. Uh, and I'm going to name in the inspector, I'm going to call it console text. Um, let's see here, which direction? All right. Now I want to, I want to make the panel, make sure it is filling the whole thing. Yes, it is. And the console text, I'm going to click here above the word anchors and select this lower right uh, to stretch to the screen and we're going to hit zero zero and I think zero zero yeah so now our text box is the full size of the screen but uh, I don't want it to be that far so we're gonna we're gonna push it in a little bit let's do 15 by 15 and 15 by 15 yeah so now we've got a little bit of a a, a gap margin to uh, everything now we're gonna go down here and I just don't like Arial so we're gonna change the font um, we'll go with Roboto light and we're going to change the color so we can actually see the wording scale up the font size a little bit and that's it here for now so now we've got our canvas our panel and that should be attached to that yeah now we need to grab our prefab this is going to be our fps display we'll just drag it in and then i'm going to move it down to the bottom lower corner and then drag it onto the panel as well so now we've got our overall layout 
and then I'm gonna I while we don't really need the event system for this particular project because we're not interacting with this other than uh, through keywords um, I just drag the event system on here so we all we have one prefab when we're done all right one other thing that we have to handle before we can move on is the FPS display prefab is a game object with its own canvas and then its own text box. So we don't need these two pieces, the, the, the display uh, game object and the canvas. So we're just going to drag the FPS background to the panel. We're going to break that instance. And then we are going to delete FPS display. Now, that looks like it's positioned perfectly. And I want to change the text under my console, console text. We're going to say, this is, this is the spot where all of our console text will be. All right. Now, now we've got all that handled. We've got everything under one object. Um, now we need to add our, our scripts that we're going to be using. Most of these, uh, I think all of these actually are, are from the HoloLens uh, Toolkit Unity. So first we want to create our tag along. Tag along is something that allows, or it, it when you walk around with a hollow lens on your head, um, it's uh, going to follow you. So it's literally the menu system will tag along with you. Um, but really what it's doing is it's staying slightly in view when you turn your head around. Um, it uses an interpolator to smooth out the uh, the movement, and I believe it uses this box collider, which it just added, as uh, a means to know that it's in view or not. Now we're going to add component scripts. We're going to add billboard. So what billboard does is it keeps it facing the camera at all times. Uh, with tag along, you can start to to turn and twist and, and get out of view, uh, whereas the billboard keeps it facing towards you at all times. And then last we need the keyword manager. And this is how we set up our voice commands. And that makes this a complete object. In the next video, we will start scripting this bad boy up.